Hey guys, Misha Crossing here with another save editor tutorial for you today. Uh, if you don't know what this save editor is or you want to set up your 3DS and your Animal Crossing game in order to be modded with the save editor, watch my step-by-step -step guide to setting up your 3DS. I've got that linked in the description box. It'll tell you everything you need to know. Um, these videos are just kind of breaking down the save editor into its different features and this feature today is going to be altering your town information. You can change you know, your town name um, and a lot of other data related to it. So I'll just, it's not too complicated at all, but I will go over this other tab down here. The first map or the, the first tab that you see when you open up the save editor is the map one and you can click over to the other tab in order to edit your town info. Now you can change your town name right here. You can change it to whatever you want. That's something a lot of people like to do because they really regret their town name later on. You can change your native fruit here uh, in my item spawning and deleting tutorial video in the save editor. Uh, I put some annotations in about how to add a perfect fruit tree from for a fruit that is not your native fruit um, and that is completely possible in the save editor so watch that video if you want I'll link that in the description box as well but changing your native fruit will change uh, what perfect fruit trees will actually grow when you plant them in the game you can spawn perfect fruit trees in the save editor but you can't like go to your town and plant a perfect fruit because you've used the save editor and then that perfect fruit tree will grow if it's not your native fruit it won't grow but if you change your native fruit, you can change which perfect fruit trees will legitimately grow. Uh, that's really the only benefit to that because obviously you can grow any fruit tree you want in the game uh, and then perfect fruit trees you can spawn with uh, the, in the map tab. Actually, I'll just go ahead and go over here. So if you want to put a perfect fruit tree in your town, just search whatever fruit you want. So say you wanted a perfect peach tree to search peach here, um, select the peaches tree. So you've got it selected so you could plop it down. But instead of plopping it down, you're going to come to the flag one drop down menu and choose perfect four. And now you can place your perfect fruit tree anywhere. You just click wherever you want in your town and you can place it. If you want to do a mixed perfect fruit tree, like one uh, perfect fruit and the other two normal fruit, kind of like how you find at the very beginning of your town. You can select the tree you want, come to the flag 2 drop down menu, and choose mixed. And then that mixed perfect fruit tree is set to place wherever you want. You can change your grass type here, so you got triangle, circle, or square grass, and then it shows you on the right side here what shape uh, your snow will be in in the winter. And you can also change your grass type on the island, and of course it doesn't have a snow pattern because it does not snow there. You can change your town hall color and train station color. Of course, if you change it and you have like the Zen Town Hall or the Fairy Tale train station or whatever, that won't change anything. It'll, it'll keep the Public Works project, but if you want a more you know, basic wooden structure, uh, you can just change the kind of accent color here. You can change your town tree size based on, you know, how long you have played the game. So mine's at naturally at five right now, and I'm just going to leave it there, but you can make it the biggest you want, or you can make it a little baby no tree if you really want to. And you can use these cheats down here. This one unlocks all public works projects, so you can go to Isabel and build whatever public works project you want after accepting that and inserting it into your game. It says this feature is experimental. Use it at your own risk. I've used it with no issues, um, but you might want to check the comments of this video. Some people might say if they've had issues with it and why. So just be careful. And this button, uh, it sets your turnip prices to 990 bells. This one also says, it says it's experimental. I haven't tried this one personally, so some people in the comments might want to chime in. I don't really know what benefit that this would have because you can give yourself however many bells you know you want in the save editor but maybe if someone one of your friends has a lot of turnips to sell you can set your uh, turnip price really really high in your town and have them come and sell it and make a good profit for themselves down here you can edit what is in your museum rooms you can spawn items by searching them up here, just the way that you would decorate your player rooms in the player tab. If you want to turn something one way, you can right click on it and then left click on it and you can see it's now facing 
right, right click and left click, now it's facing up, right click, left click, now it's facing left, you know, you get it. So, and I don't know why it changes it to say buried or watered or whatever, that's just something in the coding of the, the save editor. And you can edit the wallpaper and flooring in here as well. The outer line of boxes in the room, that's going to be what's hanging on the walls. So if I wanted to have a, a sconce hanging on the wall, I could just click it and put it right here and it will be hanging on the wall in that spot. But you should change it to where it's facing the proper way. So if it's on the left wall, you want it facing right. If it's on the right wall, you want it facing left. Uh, logically. And this box over here are items that are sitting on any sort of tables that you have. So you'll have to match up these boxes with where your tables are over here. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but you'll you'll figure it out. So if you want, you'll have to like put an item that actually can realistically sit on a table. Um, otherwise, I think the, the room will glitch really weirdly. Um, but yeah, put those over here on top of your tables that are over here. All right, guys, I think that is it for this video. Uh, if you have any video suggestions for me, please let me know in the comments. I do plan on doing a video on how to landscape your town using this part of the save editor. It might take me a little while to do, but I promise that is what I'm going to do because people have requested it. If you want to follow my other social media, links are in the description box. You all have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another and don't forget to be awesome. Bye.